morning guys. Uh, we are off on another adventure this morning. Uh, it's one of those days where uh, actually for the first time in nearly eight weeks it's been raining all morning. Not raining a lot but raining enough to not want to go to a beach and look around. We're, we're in Albany today uh, and we're heading about 90 minutes west. Um, Good job. West, I got it right. <laughs> Um, heading over to the Valley of the Giants and there's apparently an awesome treetop walk there so uh, what else have we got on the agenda? I'd like to do the green pools and also Elephant Rock okay. and get the drone up and take some nice pics and go for a swim. Sounds good. Other than that uh, hopefully the weather turns. Weather Zone says to us that it's uh, going to come sunny this afternoon so um, fingers crossed and we just stopped off in Denmark and we grabbed some bread rolls for lunch but we also grabbed a pie. It, they were so delicious. I had chicken and leek and what did you have? Lamb and rosemary. So good. They're so good that we've even explored the area a little bit and um, tomorrow when we go back to Albany and stay the night and then get the bear, we're coming back through again so we're going to stop there for coffee and morning tea. And I'm going to have three pies. <laughs> And then make our way to, we actually don't know yet, do we? And there's even a, um, a little park area just on the a river bank or a creek bank. And there's plenty of space to park your van there as well. Um, Lots of wineries, chocolate makers, toffee makers, yeah, a, a cidery. Boutique shops and stuff. Brewery. It's a very cute town. It's it our kind of town. Yeah. Denmark. Oh, we've made it. Belly of the Giants tree chomp. Up National Park. Everything ends in up in the western in Western Australia. Uh, talking to a couple of locals, they said that up is a bit like um, meeting place in, Ab in the Aboriginal dialect. So from where we're from, we have Ginella Bar and Walling Bar and those sorts of things, which is Aboriginal words as well. I think bar meaning quite similar to what up means. So pretty cool. Okay, so uh, we're here at the treetops walk and uh, we've learnt a lesson today. Unfortunately, the treetop walk, which is the one right up high, is closed for maintenance. So um, the lesson today is don't just use wiki camps because wiki camps will tell you where all the awesome places are, but make sure you check the venue's website as well because we probably would have found out after driving 90 minutes that. <laughs> that it was closed today or closed for the next month or so. We're uh, coming up on Green Pool and Elephant Rocks. I think it's Green's Pool, not Green Pools. Okay. I could be wrong. Let me have a look. It's Green's Pool. Green's Pool. So yeah. Green owns it. Or Green Pool. Green. Or the Green's own it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway. Anyway. Um, we're probably, probably about 2Ks now. Let's hope we have an exciting afternoon because we just drove a long way for treetops to be closed. But anyway, you win some and you lose some. On our way to Elephant Rocks. I've got my briefcase because I've got some important computer work to do. <laughs> it's really my drone case. Look at that. Oh, that's Green's Pools. Oh. Wow, look at the colour. Wow. That's so pretty. I'll go over here. Hang on. Oh my gosh. Stop it. Wow. Look at our snorkels we're 
Oh, oh Han. <laughs> This is Elephant Rock. So big. Those rocks are massive. there hun what is it just a little beach no. is it a beach yeah. look at him with his little briefcase Ooh. Is it pretty? Yeah. I'm gonna go and find something to put the color. Yeah. Oh wow. It's literally that's cool. Okay. Well, I hope you liked that footage as much as we loved shooting it. Um, elephant rocks and green pools is just stunning. Mint. So stunning. Awesome. We're actually gonna race back to Albany now, pack up and get ready to leave early in the morning because we're actually gonna come back here. I know I, I, know I said we were going home, but we've just seen a little uh, sign to a place that does chocolate and liqueurs <gasps> uh, and chocolate liqueurs as well. So. Yummy. Um, I'm going to get Mrs. Maguire on the piss no. um, before we head back to Albany, so good time. It's so pretty. So, we just spent best part of two hours um, trying to book more things on Ningaloo Reef and sort out some of the booking problems that we've been having um, to be really honest it's all sorted now but what's your hot tip though oh, one don't <laughs> click the save card details when you're booking on the Parks WA website number two Parks WA website or officials if you're watching this how about you give your people that run your sites the ability to be able to go in and book for people because your website's really, really crap. So I'm not trying to be ungrateful, but seriously. Well, it wasn't that bad. It was, it was just frustrating that we, when we went to book, that it kept coming up with an error message and we soon discovered after doing it a couple of times and mind you if, if every you time do, you do it it locks it for 10 it minutes. locks it for 10 minutes so you gotta wait so 
we found that the hot tip was don't save, don't tick the button to save your card details. Because I thought, oh, I'll save my card details because I'm going to be booking some more in the future and it'll be easier and quicker. Don't tick that button because that seems to be what the issue was. Because before I was ticking it, I had no issues booking. Then I started ticking it and I had all the issues. And then just then I didn't tick it and it went straight through. Anyway, <laughs> it was really shit. Anyway, anyway. We've let's, wasted two hours this yeah, morning. Let's Although, go over that. We're in Denmark. We went back to the bakery. I had another pie. I had a pie for breakfast. It was bloody delicious. And what, uh, what type did you of have? pie did you have? I had a chicken curry. And then we went through Raven's Coffee. Raven's Coffee Yum. was the best coffee that we've had in 10,000 kilometres. So um, it was that good that we had two. Also because we kept on having to wait. But anyway, Raven's Coffee and the Denmark Bakery. Denmark is one of those places, if you are if you live on the east coast, it's a bit like Mullaney or Montville or those in New South Wales, Bangalore. Um, it's just a beautiful place. I reckon yeah. we could live here. Don't. So on we go. We're going to Banksy campsite. We'll be free camping tonight. Uh, it's one of those ones where you just leave 12 bucks in an envelope. If you're heading into WA and you're going to do a lot of national park camping, hit us up in the comments or DM us and we'll give you some tips because it hasn't been easy. hasn't been the easiest process and it seems like every region like Esperance re region was different to Albany slash Denmark and then that's different to uh, Nigaloo Reef and I'm sure that as we go further into the Kimberley and that sort of thing it'll be different again so anyway we've been through the pain there are ways around it don't lose your shit with each other like we have a couple of times <laughs> but um, anyway it's all sorted now we've probably rambled on for a few minutes but it's important information hopefully it helps you all on our way to Banksy campground we've just turned off at a place called Crystal Springs the campground there is empty at the moment and uh, there's actually full 4G coverage in there because there's a tower just the other side of the road um, the only thing that we're a little bit worried about is that there's a bit of smoke in the air um, hopefully it's just back burning. We just talked to a bloke on the side of the road and he said back burning in the next national park. So let's hope he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Otherwise we'll just head straight to the water. How you feeling, Mavis? You a bit nervous? Well, just a little bit. Only because we don't know what it's like. Mate. We haven't aired down yet. We haven't so. aired down yet, but the road's perfect. Hey, Not really corrugated, but... Anyway, let's see where it takes us. Oh my god! Good Lord, Travis. So first pull over. The screws rattled out from what? Your light bar. Yeah. But it's nothing a zip tie can't fix. <laughs> Banks here camp three kilometers. We haven't aired down. Oh, another vehicle. That's nice. This is what it looks like. Oh, that looks a little bit hairier. All right, we're about to go in three k's into Banksia Creek. The big Banksia camp. Danielle's got this look on her face. Oh, like I'm she's freaking out. Hitting myself. We're going down to 18 in all tires. I've never had the van anywhere near this low it's a fair bit of tire wall showing oh there. my gosh are you sure you want to do this it'll be fine mate oh my god i'm scared plenty can of I... trees to winch off can i walk no it's three kilometers you goose <laughs> this is the first time taking her off road no it's not we camped on the beach at all oh but no Really off road, I mean. Oh, dear God.
now we've got to get out of here in two days. Should be right, mate. That was a hit. That seriously, I know, I that know. wasn't hard. You're just freaking out. Seriously, <gasps> it was. Oh my god, there are other people here. Yay! Now we just need to find something. Here, let me walk. All right, we are in and set up. We're a stone's throw from the beach. We can hear the waves cranking. There's little Maybie, looking cute. I'm about to get her a bit, very big drink because she was a little bit nervous coming in. Um, other than a little bit of red dust, there's no damage to the van whatsoever. Um, the no, roof was- No dust inside. No dust inside. So maybe that dust reduction system on the roof there is helping a little bit. Um, the roof was a little bit hard to get the latches undone, but I just had to give it a bit of a shove. That's probably just some movement from the drive in. As you saw, it was pretty bumpy. So we're set up camp. We're here for the next two nights. Hopefully we can bring you some awesome footage of this area. Just uh, if you're wondering, there's no mobile coverage in here, which we are more than happy about. So uh, yeah, here we go. We're not gonna pull the awning out either because there's a fair bit of wind. So we're opening one of our special bottles of uh, Paul out. Paulette's um, was it, uh, uh, a sparkling, sparkling Riesling, Riesling yeah. which I didn't think would be nice. Would be nice. And then we had it at the tasting, and it was absolutely amazing. So um, we're going to have to drink this tonight. That means. <laughs> so I've got Old Mavis's tanker ready to go, uh, and we're not going anywhere. So how good? How good? How good? Here we go. First look on the beach. We've just set the van up. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon now, WA time. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is about 50 metres walk from where we've landed the van, if not 30. 30 maybe. She's got a big uh, glass of champagne. Oh wow. We have another site on the WA coastline where you've got massive volcanic cliffs and mountains right to the ocean and you've also got islands literally I don't know 300 400 meters offshore Imagine if the not closer color of that water when the sun's out yeah it's just pretty happy with this camp twelve dollars a night we just left 24 bucks for the two nights in an envelope as we came in it's pretty good Oh, maybe just nearly fell off the track into the bushes. Yeah, look at the scratches. She's like had three sips of wine. <laughs> Didn't have lunch today, actually, which might be why she can't walk straight. But oh, um, this, this, wow, free camp. Oh, sorry, twelve dollars. Don't get upset with me for saying free camp. It's nearly as good as free. But um. Just off the road, uh, probably 20 k's west of Walpole. Okay. Keep going. So, there's even a little bathtub. I think I might have a shower in there tonight. And then there's a bigger one just there. So we can both have a bath. How good is this? We are literally standing in the middle of the ocean. So good. Can't wait to see it at low tide too. I have a feeling that the tide has turned probably an hour ago and is starting to push out. I could be wrong. We've got no phone coverage here to work it out, but who cares? Oh, seagulls are having a crack checking out the campsite. So we're on campsite two, that's campsite one. It's probably three or four cars up there. Plenty of room to camp. And you've got this private area here. Then, You've got this huge shed, and by the looks of it, it's the, Banksia Lodge. the Banksia Lodge has like four bedrooms in here. So there's picnic facilities. Wow. It actually, looks like there's a sink over there to wash up. Oh God. And there are beds. And so we need, and, and a, yeah, and a curtain. So we need to do all of them. Look like they've got like a double bed and then a single bunk. And all you need to do is bring a mattress, sleeping bag, and you're pretty much set. There's also uh, toilets. I haven't been to the toilet yet, so I'm not sure whether it's a pit, but there's toilets here as well. Um, so realistically, 
Um, you don't need a, a lot of gear to get in here. Um, pretty nice. So, off-grid dinner. We uh, stopped at the little butcher at Denmark. Um, and again, just another thing about Denmark, the butcher was awesome. So we've got little lamb kebabs, I'd say it's diced leg or shoulder with uh, lots of herbs and spices on it. Got a bit of asparagus and we've got corn and potatoes which I'm going to cover in butter and chives and it will be delicious. Oh, Mavo's having a shower in there. I'm going to have a shower. going to have a shower. Yeah. Okay. So we're doing it pretty tough off grid here. It was a pretty mean track to get in but I'm naked. <laughs> How good is hot water off grid? Oh, oh my god, so good. So good. Uh, there's lots of boys on boys trips this weekend too in this campsite. There's only six sites. I reckon there's four boys trips. So uh, anyway, could get a bit rowdy later on, but uh, we're all protected here. Got the car in the way, so we should have a nice night. Making it. Coffee. I must look amazing. <laughs> Best say, bit about last night. Say good morning. I don't know whether it was the doof music till 3 a.m. <laughs> you look like shit. Or the wind blowing gusts of 50k an hour to the point where we actually yeah, look, dropped the roof on the camper. So we, we weren't, weren't worried about the damage or anything. We were just worried about the flapping and being woken up every five minutes. So this morning we are. Uh, having coffee of course because we need it sorry we're not really thinking straight this morning um but we can't get the mocha pot going oh we could but it's it's really quite windy today so we're not getting the mocha out so our um our next solution is we have a jet boil which is amazing thanks charles and Jaden. christmas present these are so cool so ant will just light it it's got its own little uh, igniter and it literally does not take very long to boil water and this little wave changes colour when it's ready and then we're going to get the plunger out and do our coffee that way this morning it's a windproof coffee kind of sort of <laughs> I'm so tired how much sleep do you think we got? Three hours. Three hours. <laughs> Testing old Mavis's resolve. Big four wheel drive in. <laughs> Windy. It's party. It's party. Oh my god. Here we go. So see how it's changing colour? So it's nearly done, so when it comes up a little bit higher, the water will be boiled. It's probably only been 90 seconds. Yeah. And our little plunge is ready to go. Oh, we need that coffee this morning. Boiling. Turn that. Now, always use the handle that they give you.
only damage we had on that pretty hairy track was I lost the screw out of the bloody light bar on the way in and on the way back lost the screw out of the number plate now please note the other side is held in place by a zip tie and the zip tie didn't fail the friggin screwed in but anyway got a couple more zip ties ready to go and uh, everything will be good again all right well we are out after our stay at Banksia camp um, wasn't the, the greatest experience we hoped for mainly just due to the weather um, if you get in there when the weather's great and the winds not so high it will be absolutely amazing and also if there's no 20 year olds having a doof till 3 in the morning uh, would also be awesome but uh, maybe we're just getting old <laughs> um, it was bad though the doof doof music was like being at a nightclub it was that loud it would have been alright if it was good music but anyway we're out now we didn't have any troubles on the way out um, the van I gotta say the Jawa Infinity 13 um, for the scale of that track and some of the tough sections we went through probably only four and a half K in but um, yeah oh maybe his uh, nerves are a little bit better now but I'm um, gonna sleep well tonight he's gonna sleep well tonight <laughs> um, thanks for watching this video guys um, keep all the feedback coming we're loving the, the comments that are coming through YouTube um, and even some of the people that are spilling over onto Facebook and Instagram so um, don't forget after you've watched this if you haven't already hit the subscribe and press the alerts button and check us out at our Insta on empty underscore nest adventures or at Facebook at official, at official empty nest adventures cheers guys see you in the next one